all markets uh, come from a different perspective and they have different drivers to their advancement. I think, I would say India is easily one of the most exciting markets for us because India is on the verge of really an infrastructure boom. Right? Um, we still lack roads, we still lack rail, we still lack metros, we still lack housing. Right? So we are still addressing basic needs which were fulfilled in the West 20 years ago. So, but what the advantage India has is we leapfrog technologies. Right? We go from not using technology to using the world's most advanced technology on our projects. And that's what makes doing business in India and working with users in India so interesting. We have the world's most, uh, the, the foremost, the top 100 you know, uh, EPCs of the world uh, working out of India, right? In the past, many of them started as global outsourcing or offshoring centers. Today we see companies like AECOM and Black & Veatch doing the most innovative projects in India, from India. So they, what they've done is they've taken their engineers, those engineers have worked on global projects, they've learned from the global best practices, and now they're applying this to relevant projects in India. In terms of segments, our focus areas you know, continue to be rail, road, highways, water distribution networks, power, and of course, you know, our core business around the plant, oil and gas, and infrastructure industry is, I would say, the mainstay of our business over here. It continues to be a focus. Um, we, we, I wouldn't say that there is any segment in India which isn't growing. Every segment is growing. So let's talk from my perspective as I understand the Smart City project because it's, it's not very crystal clear in terms of what it is. But from a very fundamental basic, a smart city is a, subject, is a city which will have um, well-run, well-designed infrastructure. So it'll have good roads, it'll have good transportation networks, it'll have good water and wastewater and sewage systems, right? All these basic in, uh, engineering infrastructure projects require good engineering and Bentley has a very strong role to play in that. We also support the build-up of utilities, communication systems, and, and management of uh, some of these systems. So as in the smart cities, for us, our role is not just in terms of how these are designed and constructed, but also adding a lot of our best practices from our global users in terms of how you maintain and operate these uh, assets as they are built and constructed. And you, you, know, you run them for many, many years after that. So we, can, we, we would like to bring in our best practices from around the world, our experiences from having done this around the world for many years, and, and work with the government of India proactively so that we can help be a part of the success of India Smart City Program. I think Indian government is definitely has a strong working committee on BIM. There is strong collaboration between India, the UK, uh, some of the countries in the Middle East, Singapore, so they are part of a, a BIM initiative uh, and good work is happening. Uh, we definitely see that the Indian government has more interest and, and always tries to look at new technologies and emerging technology. So yes, the current government is making very proactive steps to become more informed about what's out there. And, and the good thing is uh, there is already a lot of communication happening in terms of looking at BIM the right way, which is about processes, about workflows, about standards, uh, which look at a life cycle of infrastructure projects and not just BIM for design. So yes, definitely the Indian government is doing, taking proactive steps today and happy to see and we are more than happy to be a part of that and, and support that initiative. Very most concrete, I think there are two projects in India which really are already proactively, actively working with us and our partners in India on reality modeling. One is road and highways agencies, and the other one is a railway. What reality modeling does is gives them 3D engineering data, which they can use in engineering design reviews, they can look at you know, construction monitoring, they can look at construction progress, they can actually make decisions based on that data, rather than just looking at it as a pretty picture or as a pretty video. So I think in the railways projects, in the road design, construction, and monitoring projects, reality modeling has a lot of role to play. We see active interest from our defense agencies, um, like the border secure, you know, like the agencies under the Ministry of Home Affairs, who are looking at reality modeling as a 
cost effective and efficient and a rapid way of quickly making decisions of data take captured by their drones. And, and the applications today are numerous. This is new technology. We launched it into India very proactively this year. We see a very, very um, positive response from the market. And, um, and it's now everybody is proving that yes, this is technology which works in India under Indian circum conditions. And so far, it's been a very, very positive experience.